Hey gang, moving right along, just like we said in the last video, this video is going to be about internal computer components. In the last video, we talked about port types, and now let's talk about a few of the important parts that are inside the PC. So first thing, we got the CPU. All right, so the CPU is a small little chip, but it's really important, right? So the CPU is a central processing unit, aka the brain, aka if you don't have a CPU, you can't do shit. You can't do anything, right? So the CPU is what actually processes all of the processes that your computer goes through. You open up Microsoft, you open up YouTube, you download this, you do that, you do this. Everything that you do runs through the CPU, okay? Everything you do runs through the CPU bars. Anyway, next up is RAM, all right? So random access memory. Random access memory is, <clears throat> excuse me, is what your computer uses instead of using your entire hard drive. All right, so instead of accessing things from your hard drive, it'll access it from your RAM. So it makes things a lot quicker. Instead of having to go through your entire hard drive, it can access the stuff that you're always opening, the stuff that you're always messing with inside of your RAM. All right, so here comes a big word. All right, kind of a big word. RAM is volatile. All right, RAM is volatile. What that means is that when your computer loses power, what's ever on the RAM is erased. Volatile, erased, non-volatile, it's not erased. So RAM is volatile, while the next thing, which is hard drives, is not volatile, which means that if you turn a computer off, whatever you have saved on your hard drive is going to stay there, okay? So we got two types of memory. We got RAM and we got the hard drive, right? So we got ROM and RAM. So the RAM is random access memory, makes your computer a lot faster, but whatever is on there, if you uh, turn your computer off, it gets erased. Random access memory, excuse me, uh, hard drives are completely different, right? Your operating system is there, everything that you need is on your hard drive. So it's two different types of hard drives. We got traditional hard drives, which look like that picture, where it has a little disc, a little platter in there that spins around, or we have solid state drives, where it doesn't have any moving parts. So we got traditional hard drives, got moving parts, solid straight drive, no moving parts. And another type of drive is the optical drive. And that can be, I don't know what the hell I'm doing with signaling like I'm shit, trying to land an airplane, but uh, optical drive is um, Blu-ray, CD, DVD, stuff like that. Okay, makes sense? Fantastic. Next up, we got the motherboard. All right, so the CPU, the RAM, and all that stuff, is on the motherboard. So the CPU is super important, but the motherboard is where the CPU is actually at. So if you don't have a motherboard on your computer, you're really out of there. It's really over with, okay? So there's a couple of different things that we can do to our motherboards to expand the functionality of our device. So that is the main purpose of expansion cards, to expand, uh, to, and to improve the functionality of our uh, PCs, right? So, um, a video card, what do we think that does? Bam. So it, the display runs off a video card. Now, depending on if you're like a gamer or a video editor, you may need a more robust video card than someone else, okay? Then we got audio cards. It's uh, pretty much self-explanatory that'll increase, enhance, or just give you sound, all right? And on the top left, that green little thing, that's an example of what an expansion card could look like. Um, that's actually a picture of a wireless, a wireless uh, network card. Uh, at the bottom, bam, all worked out, a network card. So a network card is what's going to give you internet capabilities, all right? So you can actually become part of a network. Sound good? Uh, next up, um, one of the biggest things, right, um, for a mobile device, a PC, a laptop, um, what was that, about a year or two ago, maybe two or three years ago, I'm pretty sure that you guys remember Samsung. They were going through something to where the damn phones was blowing up. Like, they were getting so hot, they were actually blowing up. So, cooling methods are super important. Um, it doesn't have to be as drastic as something blowing up, but 
and your PC, if your PC is running hot, if it's overheating, it's going to shut down. It's kind of like the fail safe. Whether it's a laptop or a PC, like you'll turn it on, if the fan isn't spinning, if the fan isn't actually cooling the CPU and the rest of the components inside of the computer, it'll shut down so it doesn't actually melt and actually damage permanently. So that's kind of like the automatic fail safe for uh, PCs and laptops. It'll completely just shut down and when you try to turn it back on, it's probably going to shut down again because it hasn't cooled down. So a way to actually cool down your um, device, you can have case fans, which are inside of PCs and laptops. And that's actually on the actual laptop or the um, PC, and it'll blow the hot air out of the device. Or you can actually have CPU fans, where there's a fan actually attached directly on top of the CPU that's drawing the heat away and then blowing it up. Last but not least, you have liquid cooling, right? So liquid cooling actually uses liquid, whether it's water or another substance, to actually absorb heat from the CPU, right? So the water running over the CPU will absorb the heat on the CPU. It'll take it to a reservoir, cool it down, and it'll keep on doing that process to make sure that the CPU is cool, right? Bam, another one in the books. So. As always, uh, make sure that you are going through the entire ITF uh, playlist. If you went through this entire course, head over to icmagickey.com and get inside of a real course or get inside of a certification course, A+, plus, Net+, plus, Security+, plus, whatever you need to further your career in IT. We got it. Now that in that, I'll see you in class.